Hello, today I'm going to show you a new update to renewal efforts on SimpleCERC. We are now calling this feature standard renewal efforts, and it's meant to support your regular process for getting people renewed as they near the end of their subscription or become expired. The first thing you're going to want to do is set up your renewal series. You'll see that over here. It's a new tab under the publication settings. And by default, you should have a series similar to this. It's a five effort series starting when a subscriber has only two issues remaining. And then if they don't renew, they would get additional efforts uh, when they have one issue remaining, then zero issues remaining, or essentially when they're expired. And then finally, after they've missed a couple of issues. Now, if you'd like, you can add additional efforts. Uh, first give it a name and then you're going to select your criteria. You can choose from issues remaining, missed issues, or days before and after expiration. In this case I'm going to do missed issues. Uh, if your publication has a fairly regular term like 12 issues a year or more, then setting up your efforts based on issues remaining and missed issues makes the most sense. Each time you pull an issue, you'll then pull your effort and send out the appropriate notifications. If, however, you publish less frequently, say quarterly, and you typically send out several renewal notifications between issues, then you'll probably want to use days before and after expiration. And maybe you do 60 days before, then 30 days before, etc. So I continue setting up my new effort. I'm going to do three missed issues. And then if I want, I can select a promo code to associate with the effort. In this case, I'm gonna select final offer. Uh, the promo codes that are available, you have to set up ahead of time in pricing. So if I click over here, I can see my pricing. I've got this offer, final offer. It's 50% off the cover price, um, and then I'll be able to, like I said, associate that with the effort. So I come back over here, click Save, and now I've got my new effort added to the series. Now, if I want to add an earlier effort, I can do that too. Again, I just click Add Effort, I'll call this one 1A, do three issues remaining, no promo code. I click save and then the last thing I have to do is just slide this up to the position I want, save changes to order, and now I've got my series the way I want it. And of course if I wanted to I could go back here and rename the efforts. Um, you can name them whatever you want, whatever makes sense uh, for your particular publication. Now, when I'm ready to send out my renewal notices, I come up here to standard renewal efforts and I can see at the top here, it tells me what I can expect for each effort when I pull the file. So two people will be getting effort 1A, one person will be getting effort 1, three people will be getting effort 2, etc. Then you select the fields you want in your file. Uh, of course, you can use any of your templates that you have existing. Uh, you can select custom fields, but we've also created a new default template for these efforts that should have all the fields you need for your mail merge, whether you're sending emails yourself or you're sending letters through your mail shop. At the top, you have some of the subscription info, issues remaining, expiration date. Then you have all of the payer fields. These will populate with the subscriber if they pay for the subscription themselves or the gift giver if it's a gift subscription. Uh, this includes the renewal link, which I will show you in more detail in a second. Um, and then finally down here at the bottom, you have the gift recipient fields. Uh, these will be blank if it's not a gift, but if it is a gift, then it'll be filled in and you can use this information sort of in two ways. One, if you want to remind the gift giver who's getting the gift and what their address is, where it's being sent, you can do that. Or sometimes publishers, after they send the gift giver a few notifications, uh, they'll send the notification directly to the gift recipient 
in the hopes that they might renew the subscription. All right, so I've got my fields. Now I download my file and let's take a look at it. So we've got all of our data here. In column one, we have the effort name that'll tell our mail shop or our email program which template is supposed to be used. Over here, we've got the link that I was talking about earlier and you can see for people getting effort number six the final offer promo code has been appended to the link um, i'll show you how that works in just a second if i scroll over a little bit you'll see this person down here at the bottom is getting a gift um, the gift for column is filled in and i've got all the information that i need about the gift recipient now i'm going to scroll back over here and I'm going to grab one of these links and I'm going to show you what happens when you put it in an email and the subscriber clicks on it. They'll be taken right to the renewal form. All of their information will already be filled in. The promo code has already been applied the 50% off and all they need to do is put in their credit card information and place the order. Now, if I come back into Simple Circ, I can go to my standard renewal efforts and previous renewal efforts, and I can see the results of the efforts that I've pulled thus far. And here I can see my latest one, 6.7% uh, of the subscriptions have renewed. Look at the details and I can see, yep, one person that got effort six has renewed. And finally, if I click back over here to pull a file, I'll see that I'm not going to get anyone in the file because I just pulled a file and nothing has really happened since then. But next month, when I pull my labels, and then I come back and I'm ready to do my efforts, I'll see that all of the new people have been loaded up and will come out in the file when I pull it. So that's about it for our newly updated standard renewal effort process. Uh, if you have any questions or feedback, we would love to hear it. And as always, we hope this new feature makes your life a little bit simpler and helps you be a lot more successful. Thank you.